trash bag full of PS2 games, y'all. Woo! What's going on, everyone? Spooky King 31 here. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I'm not really sure how to start this off. I, I'm just going to do it. So, uh, boom! We were just handed this trash bag, and it is full of PS2 games. I don't know if you can see any of the logos or anything, but it is full of PS2 games, y'all. Woo! So please stick around. You're not gonna you're not gonna want to miss what's inside this bag because trust me, y'all, there are some bangers in here. I mean, some bangers. And uh, we're gonna do some more video game hunting later on and go to the thrift. You know, usual stuff. So please leave me a comment down below what your favorite pickup is. Uh, if I miss anything at the thrift, uh, if you just want to say hello, what's up? I would appreciate it so much. New to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trying to get to 50 subs by the end of March 2022. So please help me out. Uh, with all that being said and out of the way, let's get into the video. Let's go. Oh, what's going on, everyone? Just getting off of work. Whew, I'm a little tired today. Just got a promotion at my, uh, my work. I'm now a manager, so that's pretty cool. I'm working uh, 50 hours the past three weeks now, and it's starting to catch up to me a little bit, but I'm doing okay. But yeah, we are outside of the Goodwill right now, about to go in. Hopefully we'll find some uh, cool PS2 games, maybe something to flip on eBay too. That would be nice. It's still just that one sale for the year so far, so. But that's how it is. But all right, y'all, here we go.
That was kind of disappointing. We had that X-Men game. I would have gotten it for like that stack of PS2 games that I'm getting for like uh, duplicates for eBay, but it didn't have its manual, so I just, I just said nah. But all right, y'all, on to the next. Here we go. What up? All right, y'all, I'm outside Walmart now. Um, before I go home, I had to pick up a few things. Uh, my cats need some food, and we need some cheese. So cat food and cheese is on the list. And I figured I'd bring y'all along the ride and show you guys like the, um, the video game section, like the uh, electronic department. We'll look at the Nintendo Switch games, see what they have. But all right, here we go. the cat food and cheese i even got some shampoo too while i was in there because i remembered i was out so there we go but all right on to the next what's up everyone it is a cold start to the day it's like 22 21 degrees right now Whew. but yeah regardless we're going thrifting this morning uh, hopefully we'll find some PS2 games. You know it. Um, but yeah. Here we go. <laughs>
not a whole lot in there y'all uh that same x-men game there that was there the other day still uh i left it you know no manual so you know it wasn't a half off or anything if it's still there a half off day maybe but i don't know i doubt it all right on to the next all right y'all i'm back just <clears throat> got out of the work clothes you know changed up got the lights on testing out these new lights over here uh, does it make a difference uh i hope so let me know in the comments if you guys have any lights uh all right <clears throat> coolness, I guess, you know? Ooh, okay, okay. Alright, at least in my opinion, right? Uh, trying to juggle all this, sorry. Alright. So, first up, everyone. We have Naruto Ultimate Ninja. So, that's pretty cool. It is complete and first generation PS2 case. That's pretty awesome. Sorry if I'm juggling back and forth. I'm trying to get this just new to this light right here. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see here. Next up, Naruto Ultimate Ninja 3. Uh, it, it feels light. I don't think this is complete. Oh, I'm mistaken. It is complete, but you know, I guess because it is a, like a second gen PS2 case there, you know, no uh, memory card slot. Uh, but yeah, that's why I felt light. But hey, that's pretty cool. Complete. Okay, <clears throat> uh, next up we have Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, which is a duplicate of mine, but you know, it is okay. I was hoping that this would have been Black Label, uh, but you know, uh, it is what it is. I've never seen a Black Label version of this game. Um, I, I have a Greatest Hits version, this is my second copy of one, when I was at like, um, the case, like, books or whatever. Uh, their copy there was greatest hits as well so i'm just like was there even a black label version i'm sure there was but i've just never seen it but this one is complete in first gen <clears throat> ps2 case there so that's pretty cool and then we got jack 2 which is black label which is awesome you know i prefer the black label over greatest hits it just looks better on the shelf you know but uh you know is what it is. You can't always get those uh, black label versions. This, unfortunately, is not complete, so dang, that's that's unfortunate. But, oh well, at least the disc is in there. First gen PS2 case, so maybe we can come across the man one day. That would be cool. Uh, another greatest hits, which, uh, hey, I'm not, I'm not complaining. These, he literally was like, hey man, I heard you uh, collect PS2 games. Here you go, and just handed me the trash bag earlier today during my shift. So I was like, well, I was just, "Thank you." Quickly glanced at him, and yeah, y'all, it was whoa. But anyway, uh, greatest hits version of Jack Three. There, let me get a better angle of that for y'all. There you go. Uh, but yeah, uh, unfortunately not complete. Uh, first gen PS2 case though, so that's cool. All oh, right, so the. Like, when I saw these, that, I was like, wow, dude, like, are you serious? Are you serious? Um, yeah, these, I am very happy to have these now in the collection, and just, just grateful to, you know, have decent co-workers that are like, yeah, you know, here's some PS2 games I don't want anymore, they're yours, because I heard you collect. Yeah, wow, right? <laughs> so, uh, it is... Dragon Ball Z Sagas. The, I'm very excited for this. I, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, as you guys have probably seen. I got, like, some figures in the background there. Uh, and it is complete first-gen PS2 case. Uh, and something kind of cool. I wish it had the full thing of it, but uh, it has a little bit of the original, like, sticker, like, the label. I love that about a PS2. Uh, they had that, like, that sticker on top there, because... A lot of people were able to open up the game and leave the sticker intact, which, I don't know, I just think that's really cool. Like, when you come across a PS2 game, let me go grab one of those bags to show y'all um, what I'm talking about. That is, I got one right here. Like this. 
like when you uh, come across that in the wild, oh man, that's awesome. That's that's pretty cool to see that sticker. Uh, side note before we get into this, uh, this last one here, uh, speaking of those stickers and everything, my brother was really good somehow at like being able to open up the PS2 games and leave that sticker intact. A lot of his games actually have the uh, sticker on top. Uh, so yeah, maybe one of these days I'll show you guys his collection. I'll ask him if it's okay to do that. I'm, I'm sure it will be. I mean, he's let me use his PS2 in the past. But all right, the last game, you guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Wow, he told me he had Budokai, which I don't have, and I was really excited because I was like, oh, dude, he told me he had Budokai, Ratchet and Clank, and Jack and Daxter, and I was like, oh, man, I don't have those, and he's like, well, I'll, you know, next time I see you at work, I'll bring them to you, and sure enough, today was the day, and he's like, oh, I don't have Budokai, but I had Sawdust in this other Dragon Ball Z game, and I was like, oh, it's okay. I, don't, I was like, I don't have any Dragon Ball Z games except for uh, Budokai 2. And he's like, oh, well, I don't have any Budokais. And it turned out that it was Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. I'm sorry if I butchered that. I think it is Tenkaichi. Um, but yeah. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, uh, whoa. You know, the, the Tenkaichi series is pretty sought after it's uh, pretty valuable if you look up list, sold listings on ebay this isn't the most valuable one the third one i believe is the most valuable one because they i, I think there's some sold listings of like 175 dollars 160 dollars like of that copy so that's that's insane but this one i think is going for around 30 to 60 dollars something like just comp depending on the condition and i mean greatest hits or black label version uh, I did see some sort of listings going in between that that uh, that price range there, so you know, not not, not too bad. Um, this is complete, I believe. And yes, in a first gen PS2 case. So whoa, whoa, very cool. Very excited to add that to the collection, regardless of being greatest hits. Like, I mean, whoa. <laughs> okay, I mean, hey, it's uh, I, I I what can I say? I got some cool co-workers. All right. On to the next. What's going on, y'all? Another day, another chance to find some PS2 games at the Goodwill. I hope we'll find something today because it's kind of been a bust so far this week. But all right, here we go.
what can I say? This week is probably gonna be a bust, but it's okay, you know? Not every week you can come home with bangers, but it's okay, it's okay. All right, y'all. Well, here we are. We're gonna do the recap now for the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end here. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're just going to quickly go over all the games that we picked up during the week. And, you know, like you guys saw earlier, it was just one of those weeks where we didn't really find anything at the thrift. I mean, there was a few Wii games there, but just the price they were asking for versus the resale value. It just, I don't know, in my opinion, it really wasn't worth uh, making the plunge for that. And besides, I'm not... I don't know, I'm not like uh, really the world's biggest fan of the Wii, so I kind of just let Wii games kind of just, I don't know, just go past because I I just don't like the Wii. I'm sorry, the, the Wii motions, like the controls or what, the Wii motion controls, I just, not a fan of that. But anyway, I'm rambling, sorry. Uh, here we go, y'all. We're going to go real fast. Uh, like I said, no, nothing at the thrift. We didn't find nothing. I mean, just uh, that X-Men game was there all week. No manual. I uh, just, I'm still leaving it there, y'all. I'm just, no, no thanks. But anyway, so we picked up Jack and Daxter 1, 2, and 3 from a co-worker, y'all. I mean, thank goodness for cool co-workers. I mean, seriously, like, yeah. If it wasn't for him, this video would have been kind of a bust, in my opinion. At least we came home with something, right? I mean, who doesn't like a trash bag full of PlayStation 2 games? I mean, come on. Uh, next up, we have Naruto Ultimate Ninja and Ultimate Ninja 3. So, once again, from the co-worker. Uh, co so, that's pretty cool there. Um, complete. The, uh, Ultimate Ninja 3. And I think the first one is as well. Yes. Yes, it is. So, that's always good. We'll go back to Jack and Daxter here. That's complete. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I mean, you guys saw this earlier, so I'm just quickly going over it. Uh, Jack 2, not complete. Sad about that. And as well as Jack 3. But it's okay, you know? So... The best ones of the lot, or of the trash bag, I'll say. Um, Dragon Ball Z Sagas? Like, God, i once again so excited to add this to the collection. Complete, beautiful, beautiful manual. I mean, gosh. And, you know, we love having this first-gen PlayStation 2 cases with that memory card slot in the collection. And it still has a little residue of the original sticker there, which I love, like I said earlier. And finally, last but not least, y'all, goodness gracious, like, whoo, Dragon Ball Z, Tenkaichi 2, come on. I mean, greatest hits version or not, it's still amazing to have in the collection. Complete first gen PS2 case, like, come on. Ah. Just thank goodness for cool co-workers. That's all I can say, like, this week, total bust at the thrift, but... Hey, co-workers coming through for you with the PlayStation 2 games. I mean, a trash bag full of PlayStation 2 games. Come on, y'all. So please, let me know down below in the comments what was your favorite pickup or your favorite title from the trash bag of PS2 games. And uh, also let me know, did I miss anything at the thrift? Because we went like three, four times this week. Uh, at three, three times? I, I'm kind of spacing right now. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, just let me know if I missed something, because I'll go back and see if it's still there, pick it up. But, um, I mean, hey, thank you guys so much for watching, and, uh, just for your support. Because, uh, we've recently got, uh, a few more subs here on the channel, and just thank y'all so much for just hitting that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't yet, please consider hitting that button. We're trying to get to 50 subs by the end of March 2022, so, I mean, we're 38. We're, we're almost there, y'all. We are almost there. Very close. Uh, but once again, thank y'all so much for watching and thank you so much for your support. It truly means a lot to me. And once again, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Uh, hopefully we'll, we find something cool at the thrift. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I'll see you guys next week. Stay safe. Take care.